Needless to say, over the summer, the governments have been doing their work in, in terms of um, undermining our, our rights. We were uh, sitting with the Selco team chiefs when the decision was handed down by the BC Court of Appeal, and I know that Louise is going to be talking about that. And that was, um, on the upside, the, the right side of that case was upheld, but on the downside, the um, issue of title suffered a setback. And that's um, uh, a reason for all of us to be um, concerned about the implications of that decision. But I think in many ways it underscores that the courts are simply one avenue to um, advocate for our indigenous land rights. I think we need to be um, mindful that uh, we need to, in my view, become far more political than we have in the past in terms of pursuing our rights issues uh, through the political processes. And certainly uh, we need to elevate this issue in a more uh, visible way at the international level. And I'm sure that uh, there will be some discussion about that. We have yet another pipeline proposal that's been announced by the provincial government a few days ago. And needless to say, there wasn't any consultation or, or anything along those lines. The um, Enbridge pipeline proposal continues to move through the joint review panel process, but as I'm sure you're aware, the company continues to stumble through that process and, and it continues to generate increased widespread opposition, as is the uh, Kinder Morgan project, as, as it becomes more um, in the news and, and more evident. More recently, the, um, we're feeling the the effects of the omnibus bill that was passed by the Harper government, the Budget Implementation Act that affected 70 pieces of legislation. It was over 400 pages, uh, a third of which was uh, directed towards gutting the environmental assessment uh, processes and um, completely undermining habitat protection in the Fisheries Act. And um, evidently, there's some 3,000 projects across this country, several hundred in British Columbia, that no longer require any type of env an environmental review. And I'm sure in the future, we're going to feel the impact of, of that reality. And of course, the government is beginning to send out letters that uh, speak to the cutting back of funding um, a particular interest is the impact that's having on tribal councils, where tribal council funding is being slashed from um, a couple million dollars down to $500,000. Uh, 